Democratic candidates running to represent District 77 in the Michigan House. And right now we're talking about Logan Byrne. He's a local lawyer looking to serve the underserved and he's vying for your vote. My name's Logan Byrne. Um, I'm 28 years old. I'm a young attorney. I grew up on a small family farm in rural Michigan. Uh, went to undergrad at Eastern Michigan University. Went to law school at MSU. Uh, stayed in the area ever since. Byrne, seen here in downtown Lansing, works as a judicial law clerk under Judge Rosemarie Aquilina and in Genesee County on the Flint water crisis. Byrne also sits on multiple boards and participates in volunteer work. And I try to use my privileges as an attorney to help people as often as I can. I currently sit on the Zoning Board of Appeals in Clinton County. It pays very little. It's kind of like donating my time. Um, I also sit on the Young Lawyer Board in Ingham County. I also just try to volunteer in the community. I local recently helped pick up trash around Lansing and I just try to do little things, make it a better place. I chatted with Byrne earlier this summer to find out more about where he stands on the issues. One is supporting education. Public education has been underfunded for a long time, um, and I think it's important that we properly fund our education and don't siphon money into private schools or charter schools. Also, I would like to prioritize working families. As somebody who grew up blue collar, um, paid my way through undergrad and law school, working multiple jobs, um, I understand what it means to work hard. So I think it's important that we also focus on rural Michigan, as well as strengthening manufacturing in the Lansing area. Byrne tells me dealing with gun violence in District 77 is also a top priority. I'm a gun owner, um, but I also understand that nobody has any business owning assault rifles, carbines, really weapons of war. And also, we should pass legislation like red flag laws that ensure that weapons can be taken away from people in crisis situations, as well as closing loopholes that allow domestic abusers to have firearms. I do. Um, I'm pro-choice. I'm pretty vocal about it. I think Michigan needs to take a stance and codify it into law, make sure that women do have these reproductive rights. I do. Byrne tells me U.S. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas's opinion in the Dobbs v. Jackson Women's Health Organization decision was troubling to him because it mentioned reconsidering other cases. He came after marriage equality and this is something that, as Democrats, um, we hold near and dear to our heart, and we need to make sure that these um, precedents are protected. Burns' candidacy has been endorsed by Ingham County Commissioners Robert Pena and Irene Cahill, alongside the Michigan Corn Growers Association and Planned Parenthood Advocates of Michigan. I never had political aspirations. Um, in fact, because of my advocacy work, I tried to keep politics and my professional life as separate as possible. But 2020 was a turning point for me. Uh, I realized more young professionals needed to step up and take leadership positions. But the reason I jumped in is still the same. It's just to help people and try to be an advocate for those who don't have voices. Now, there's a lot more to know about Logan that we couldn't get to. If you'd like to learn more, we'll have links to his information on our website, fox47news.com. For now, I'm your Capitol reporter, El Myers. Fox 47 News.